Hi, I'm Brookhaven Town Supervisor Ed Romaine. Our materials and recycling facility, known as the MRF, is the largest, most state-of-the-art recycling operation on Long Island. As you tour our facility, you'll see all the effort that goes into recycling our materials to the highest extent possible. I hope you enjoy this video tour of the MRF, and remember to recycle right for planet Earth and a cleaner, greener Brookhaven town. Here at the Brookhaven MRF, we process recyclables from all over Suffolk County. Today, our mascot Kirby will take you through the journey of your recyclables as they travel from your curb, through our facility, and off to be recycled. But before we do that, let's recap what we can recycle in the town of Brookhaven. On Plastic and Metal Day, we take all types of metal cans, as well as plastic bottles, jugs, and tubs, which will have the numbers one, two, or five in the recycling symbol on the bottom of the container. They should be loose, meaning not in a bag. If you don't recycle right, your garbage men will leave this oops sticker on your can, and it will not be collected. Styrofoam, crates, wires, and plastic bags are some examples of what should not be in your recycling bin. Once your garbage men empty your bin, they head to the MRF. Let's follow them there. As you can see, Kirby is ready to go with their vest and hard hat. Safety is always first. Let's head inside. First, we have the tipping floor, where bottles and cans are dumped or tipped out of the truck. Then, a payloader loads bottles and cans into a metering bin, which sends them up this infeed belt. Screens remove anything larger than 14 inches or smaller than two inches, which are too big or too small to be processed by this system. Now we can start separating recyclables by type. They pass through this optical sorter, which looks for recyclable plastics. Using infrared rays, this machine can see the chemical composition of anything passing under it. This one is looking for number one plastics, like water and soda bottles. With incredible precision, it fires an air jet at every piece of number one plastic, ejecting it off the conveyor belt while everything else continues down the line. The recyclables pass through two more optical sorters, one for number two plastics, like milk jugs and shampoo bottles, and one for number five plastics, like yogurt tubs. Be sure to check the bottom of your plastic containers to find out which number it is, and only put hard containers with the numbers one, two, or five in your recycling bin. After optical sorting, the plastics go down a quality control line where workers pick out any contamination that might have made its way through. Now, we just have metal cans and foil. Metals like steel and tin are ferrous, meaning they are magnetic. This large magnet pulls them up and sorts them away. Aluminum, though, is not magnetic, but is repelled by electric currents. So, we generate what's called an eddy current underneath this belt, which sends aluminum flying away. The last step here is the baler, which compresses recyclables into compact blocks. They're sort of like bales of hay, except these bales can weigh close to 2,000 pounds each. They will be shipped off to manufacturers who will make new products from them. A week later, it's paper and cardboard day, when boxes are collected with newspapers, paper bags, and other mixed paper items. However, make sure you don't put bubble wrap, styrofoam, or shredded paper in your bin. Let's see what happens to it at the MRF. We're back at the tipping floor, where trucks dump paper and cardboard, and a payloader loads them into the system. They make their way up the infeed belt, through a pre-sort line, then over this star screen. These spinning rubber stars separate paper from cardboard by allowing papers to fall between the gaps in the stars while carrying cardboard all the way across. Papers that fell go through further screening to remove dirt and grit. Very small bits of paper, like shredded paper, also get removed here. Then we go a step further by running the paper through optical sorters to ensure we make the best product possible. Our quality control crew gives the paper one last look before it goes up the final conveyor belt to the baler.
The MRF's final step is to load these bales into a shipping container, which will take them to manufacturers. All this material will be used instead of our natural resources to make boxes, paper products, metal cans, plastic bottles, and more. We hope you enjoy your tour of the Brookhaven MRF and that you continue recycling right in the town of Brookhaven. <laughs>